All right. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this name, but someone also requested for okay this bro that requested for how to do a perforated wall like this i can't see clearly the pattern that we have on this so i'll be using a custom pattern but i'll explain it in such a way that whatever pattern you have you should be able to create such all right so the first thing you want to do is use lines to draw out your pattern so in this case i'm going to um, select the polyline to draw a box that should represent an a single unit so i'm going to make this box to be about 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters so it's going to be like small and i'm going to just duplicate and get you know other boxes of the same size around and the next thing i want to do is i'm going to draw a diagonal line here and the idea behind this diagonal line is i want to get it on center specifically here and then um, let's say keep this at 100 all right then selecting this i'm going to move it to 200 please if you don't know how to draw the pattern that you want that's a different problem entirely i'm not even certain as to how i would approach such a problem figuring out how to do the construction line behind what you need is something i would really suggest you work on especially when it might be a complicated pattern all right so as i said i don't know for sure that this is the pattern but this is the kind of thing i think it is and the video that i'm going to be that i'm already recording as we speak like this as you're listening rather is going to be creating this pattern so these are going to be the perforations and these are going to be the solid parts of the wall if you're on this channel for the first time or if you are viewing this video and you're yet to subscribe leave a subscribe button and keep uh, click on the subscribe button and keep in mind if you have issues that you want to learn how to tackle on Archicad, the link to our group chat is attached in the description of this video click on it and join the group ask your questions and as i'm paying attention to this the same way i would still do a video based on your requests so the next thing i want to do after creating this as anyone can guess is duplicate the pattern so in order for me to do that i'm going to just use the slab to fill up this entire region then subtract the areas i don't need then what's going to be the thickness of the slab? It's going to be the same thing as the thickness of the wall I intend to perforate, which in this case is going to be about 75 mm. All right. So now that I have this, I'm also going to set materials to it. Everybody knows my favorite material in Africa. It's the titanium white. All right. So now that I have used that, I'm just going to create copies so i'm going to keep this here bring one here and another one here and then you can see that this pattern there is now four of it okay so i'm going to select the four of these and then i'm going to go into the file libraries and objects save selection as cutting wall panel Alright, so once I save it as the cutting wall panel, I'm going to name it Perforated Wall and click on Save. So this is the first step in what I want to do. The second step is for the receiving wall, and in this case, I'm going to make this wall the receiving wall. I need to draw a hole. To do that, I'm going to use the opening tool and I'm going to use the freeform opening tool because from what I can see on the image that was sent um, you can see that it kind of like bevels towards the ground it's slanted towards this area so I'm going to 
even though i don't do something exactly like that i'm just going to show that yes it's possible so i'm going to make mine to take on this shape all right so it, the perforated wall i'll be creating is going to come fill in this location so this is on the second floor and this is also on the second floor that's quite convenient i didn't plan it okay so i'm going to come into the cutting wall to open it completely go into the scheme and then i'm just going to take away everything i'm just going to leave um 800 here by 800 here as for this goes this um yeah here minus goes this goes the mullion frame i don't want it leave it as what division then for the transom frame leave it also as a division then for the distinct panel i'm going to go into its own settings so in order for me to do that right away as i clicked on it here then i clicked on this button over here that says go to class settings so for the distinct panel i am going to be using a cw custom panel all right and you can see that perforated wall was automatically selected that's because there's not many custom panels if i've created multiple and i'll have to pick one of them you can view this in 3d and you can see that this is kind of what we want so you can still specify the thickness um 75 was what i used earlier and this will just adjust accordingly okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to specify the dimensions for the cutting wall i'm going to leave the height at three meters and how far it is from the project zero i'm going to leave it exactly as it is then for the reference line i want it to be zero i want it to be exactly at the center also unless i forget i'm going to remove all the frames so i do not want a boundary frame so i'm going to come to the boundary frame and say invisible i do not want that corner frame there's no corners in this case the modem and transform frames have been turned into divisions so for now all looks well so i'm going to begin here and then draw the panel to come here then i'm going to check it on the 3d and then we can see the perforated wall pattern keep in mind that a sizable portion of this is hidden within the wall both above and beneath in order for me to change that i can raise this so that at least it begins here then modify its height so that it terminates here okay observe now that we have this really unpleasant thing over here so i'm going to like just raise it up again if we don't want this to look like this then we're going to go back into the settings the scheme settings specifically and rather than keep their sizes fixed we are going to go with best divisions and what that does is that it just does a calculation to just know what's the closest to the original dimension that's going to fit into this properly so one might be asking architect what do we do about the other hidden portion that we have here most people might not care observe first of all that a portion of it is poking out of the roof which is not really pleasant what i would suggest you do is option a create your custom and um, the cutting wall on the elevation option b subtract off that portion i would prefer to use option a so i'm just going to like copy the settings of this i'm holding out on it while i click on it and then i'm going to delete it then i open the elevation then i'm going to use boundary and then i can just define the boundaries of the perforated wall and i think i miss a boundary here to here and close it up here and there we have it so here's the problem with doing it this way i was about to talk about earlier you observe that we didn't end up with a straight line here so at the end of the day i'm just going to still insist we keep it how it was before and then 
cut off the rest. All right, so I'm still going to come back to the elevations here, but this time around, I'm going to draw a morph which I intend to hide. I'm going to draw that morph to exist at this boundary, so it's going to start around here, it's going to come down here, and then um, it's going to take this shape. Then I can go into the 3D window, give that morph some thickness, uh, say like 200 mm, and then I'm going to use the plan. Typically, I prefer whatever view makes me see what I'm working on the clearest. So I'm going to adjust this and bring it right over here. It's also going to hide inside the wall. But remember, I said I was going to hide it completely, so putting it inside the wall is not the goal. I'm going to open the Solid Elements Operation from Design, Solid Elements Operation. I'm going to select the Morph as an Operator, then select the Cutting Wall, which is now the Perforated Wall, as the Target. The operation should be subtraction with upward extrusion and I execute and then we can see what's just happened. The portion of it that was hidden within the wall is now represented figuratively. And when I say figuratively, if you want only this to be selected, you could just click on it and press F5 and it hides everything in the 3D and just shows you this like this. And this is what we needed. You could also press F5 to restore everything back. I expect everything to return all right so as for that morph we have hiding in there i'm going to now move it to the hidden layer and it will be as though it's not there all right if you found value in this and you've not subscribed do so leave a like drop comments and if you have further questions on the topic reach out to me if you are yet to join the group so far the link to the group is in the description to this video Come in there and feel free to ask questions. And keep in mind, your questions are not just limited to Akikad. It could be Lumion, it could be Twin Motion. I am not the only one on the group. Any other person there who knows a way out for your problem or the issue you are dealing with could also respond appropriately. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.